Hello everyone. Um, I think to open this video, um, you'll see the title so you know what the subject's about, or you'll have some idea. To open this video, I'm just going to read um, a newspaper article from Thursday, um, and then get into my thoughts on the subject at hand. But this is a newspaper article. I'm just reading directly from the paper here. Editor jailed for 11 years for offending the monarchy. A high-profile activist and magazine editor has been jailed for 11 years after he was convicted of defaming the monarchy, the latest case involving Thailand's increasingly controversial Les Majeste laws. The Bangkok Criminal Court sentenced Somyat Pruk Saik A. Samsuk, pictured over two articles deemed offensive to the royal family, but observers said they believed he was being punished less for what he wrote than for his role in trying to reform strict defamation laws, which critics have often used for political reasons. We accept the ruling but will appeal, Mr Somyat's lawyer, Karom Paul Pornlang, to the AFP news agency. He did not intend to violate Article 112. He was doing his job as a journalist. We will seek bail. The Des Majesty laws were established to protect King Bomabol, Adulia Dej and other royals from comments or statements that could be deemed to damage the institution. The 85-year-old monarch who is wi widely admired by any ties, even if other members of his family are not, have been, has been in hospital since September 2009. Activists say the laws have been increasingly used for political reasons and to pursue members of the Red Shirt Movement in order to have supported the former Prime Minister Taksan Shinawatra. Okay, um, I made one other video about this some time ago, um, and I got some very informative information from a, a Thai who agrees with my inf my my views, but he he clarified some of the details. Um, he has a much more that that person had a much more comprehensive knowledge than I do. I won't name them because I don't want to put them at any risk. Um, but their their information was quite informative and helpful in terms of. Um, this video wasn't intended to be as comprehensive, it's more just my raw views on this subject. Um, this is barbaric. Quite frankly, that's the only way to, I, I can think to describe it. Um, apologies, by the way, for pronouncing Thai names there inaccurately. Uh, I, I find Thai names quite difficult to pronounce. But for the sake of uh, simplicity, I'll just say Somyat. 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 Um, this guy didn't even violate Article 112. He never actually directly offended the monarchy. He was simply questioning the harshness of this law. Um, you see, what I find very hard to stomach about all of this is that the fact that it exists is bad enough. But what I find very unsettling is the, the sheer number of ties who are seemingly willing to defend it. Now, I'm not stupid. I know uh, the king is widely respected in Thailand. Um, in my opinion, the only other comparison on earth like this is the situation in North Korea. Um, now, people will probably say, oh, Thailand's not like North Korea. Thailand's a multi-party democracy. Thailand's an open country, etc. And in many ways it is. But in my opinion, when it comes to Article 112, um, that's that's uh, worthy of the worst dictatorships um i, I honestly china isn't like this um it's just an absolute no matter how much the kings respected this notion that offending him should result in such a heavy prison sentence is it it's bizarre it's barbaric and I don't care if a majority of Thais back it, I think it's barbaric. Because there are many, many brave Thais who are trying to reform this law um, and who have been punished and vilified for it. I came across a group on Facebook and it made me so angry. The group was We Love King, um, King Bumabal Abdulladej. Um, and we support Article 112. Now, love for the king is one thing, although it is sycophantic in the case of Thailand. It's not just respect, it, it really is sycophantic. Um, and if you're a Thai and you're offended by that, 
I couldn't care less um, because that's what it is. You're de if you actually respect the king, then stop dehumanizing him. Um, he said himself he's a human. He doesn't like the worship. He said that himself. But anyway, um, that's one thing. That's that's that. But what what is the issue here is these barbaric laws and they're being increasingly used as a as a political weapon you know in the, in terms of the whole red shirt yellow shirt debate i'm not particularly on either side because i don't know enough about either side although my impression is the the yellow shirts are, f are more um more in favor of these laws i don't know but i do know the laws have been thrown both ways um as a way to defame people um uh, hundreds of ties have been caught up in this some foreigners some australians some some others but um th this is really really it troubles me deeply because it's one of the worst human rights abuses i can think of in the world today um and it, it's the worst i can think of in any democratic country and Thailand is technically a democracy because it's it's a multi-party system. So you look up democracy in, in its purest form, it's a multi-party system. But this is really something that is... This sort of vicious attack on freedom of expression is... is absolutely... Now, I would say to those who do, who do support the law and do love the king... Um, the measures are kind of productive anyway, because all you're going to do is create a lot of angry people who see this injustice, who suffered under this injustice, and uh, who will then resent the king. So if you're trying to encourage ties to love the king, this is not the way to do it. Um, I really do believe it's come to the point where... Um, countries should start putting some sort of uh, economic sanctions on Thailand or um, well okay I shouldn't say that because I, I don't know if sanctions would work and they may only end up punishing the Thai people including many people who oppose the laws um, so sanctions may not be the answer but I do believe there has to be far more international pressure political pressure on Thailand and I don't believe I haven't seen any I haven't seen any other country condemn Thailand's brutal laws. Um, maybe things have happened behind closed doors, but this is... Hundreds of people are being accused of this. Hundreds are languishing in Thai prisons. And let's be clear here, we're not talking about drug smugglers. We're not talking about hardened criminals. We're talking about people like this guy who have simply been accused of having an opinion deemed offensive. That's it. And for those idiot Westerners who want to say to me, oh, it's their laws, you have to respect it. Inhumane laws should be condemned and exposed anywhere. That includes inhumane or counterproductive laws in the West. Laws are not absolute. In the sense that I, I strongly believe that immoral laws should be scrutinised and condemned. Nothing is more important than human rights in my book. And if you're a Thai and you're offended by this video, let me make this very clear. I don't know enough about the king to judge his character. I know he's very wealthy in a country that is not particularly wealthy. That's a fact. It's an indisputable fact. Um, I know he's engaged in some charity endeavours. I, Other than that, I don't know that much about him personally. I know he's in ailing health at the moment. And um, when he passes on, there could be a power struggle. But let me make this clear to ties watching this video. I have nothing particularly against the king. I'm not making this video uh, to say anything particularly against the king because I don't know enough about him. What I'm talking about is the savage laws highlighted by Article 112 um, that, that are an attack on freedom of expression. And if you want to shut me up and shut up ties who have issue with this, then you're utter hypocrites because you, you're exercising your freedom of expression to love the king. 
that makes you a hypocrite and a card. Now, to those ties who are poor and don't have education um, and don't have the sort of, who know nothing else, that's one thing. But those ties who have travelled the world, I say to you, shame on you. You got this card. Shame on you. Because you can see what the situation is in other countries. You can see that uh, there, this is not the case in other countries. That gives you something to weigh up against. And for you to then turn around and say, condone these laws, that, to me, you're not brainwashed. You're cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. Um, and just to be clear, if I'm ever in Thailand, I will not break any Thai laws. I will not commit les majeste. You know, I won't say anything against the king. Not because I'm not standing by my principle, but because I don't particularly want to spend time in a Thai prison. But if that situation ever was to arise, um, well, I would use this video as defence. I am making this video in the United Kingdom, in another country. And Thailand's brutal justice has no jurisdiction over Britain. So I'm not actually breaking any Thai laws in this video because the the offence is not taking place in Thailand. Um, in Thailand, I wouldn't make a video like this. I wouldn't say anything against the king. Even if I did, he would pardon me. Because Westerners uh, get off more leniently than Thais when it comes to this. Um, so again... My issue is not with the king himself, although I do believe as a human being there's valid debates to be had about him as there is with anyone else. If you support him, fine. Give your reasons for supporting him. If you're against him, I believe those people have a right to voice their opinions. And if you're a Thai and you want to silence them, then I say you're a hypocritical card. And this makes me so bloody angry. I love how people use sensitivity to attack human rights. You say it's offensive to Thai culture. I say your attitude is offensive to humanity. And this is not an attack on all Thai people at all. I'm defending Thai people. I'm defending the hundreds of brave Thai people who have either questioned the law or those people who haven't even broken the law and who have been falsely accused. They haven't broken the law. They haven't offended the king. This, this is bizarre that this is, even exists in the 21st century. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say on it. Um, I, I would urge the Thai authorities to release Somyat immediately. I know they won't, so it's a waste of time. But I do believe international political pressure needs to be stepped up on Thailand from other democracies. In fact, if I was to make one message with this video, I would call on other parliamentary democracies, which have a royal family, countries like my own, countries like Japan, countries like Spain, countries like the Netherlands, countries with royal families, which are democracies, to sh call on the Kingdom of Thailand to abolish these hideous laws. Now, there's other monarchies, like Morocco, like Saudi Arabia, which are, by definition, absolute monarchies. And that's the same as dictatorship. Thailand is technically a constitutional monarchy. But these laws are much, much more symbolic of an absolute monarchy. And I just find it bizarre, deeply unsettling. And um, if you're a Thai and you're getting angry with this video... You could be as angry as you want. I'm not attacking Thailand, the country. I'm not attacking Thai people. I'm simply attacking brutal, inhumane laws. And I would be saying exactly the same if these laws were in Britain. I would be risking jail in Britain if these laws existed here. Thankfully, they don't. Because in this country, for the most part, we have freedom of speech. Which is a fundamental human right. If you support Article 112, you are opposed to human rights. That's a fact. And I'll leave it there, but you know, 
It's it's just barbaric. There, there's no justification. It's got absolutely nothing to do with Thai security. Nothing whatsoever. It's got everything to do with persecution. And I call on governments around the world to put pressure on Thailand to end this these hideous laws. Okay, thanks for watching.